Hello students, I, Mrs. Smita Ved Patak, welcome you all for the Standard 8 General Science Digital Class. I hope you all are taking care of yourself. Today, we will begin with Chapter 4, Current Electricity and Magnetism. The lesson includes Current Electricity Electrostatic potential, potential difference, electric cell, magnetic effects of electric current and electric bell. Let's recall which constituents are present in an atom. Here is a constituents of carbon atom. Protons, neutrons and electrons are present in an atom. An atom has same number of positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons. So, an object doesn't show any charge though its atoms contain charged particles. Therefore, we can say that Plenty of electrical charge is filled in the objects around us. What will happen if a glass rod is rubbed on a silk cloth? If we will rub silk cloth on a glass rod, the glass rod acquires positive charge and the silk cloth will acquire Negative charge. How do objects get charges? When two suitable objects are rubbed against each other, electrons are transferred from one object to another. The object that loses electrons acquires positive charge and the object that gains electrons acquires negative charge. So here, Glass rod loses electrons and acquires positive charge and silk cloth gains electrons, acquires negative charge. What are static and moving charges? Charges at rest are static charges while charges in motion are moving charges. Here you can observe electrons are in motion that is moving or current charge moving charges get transferred from one object to the other these are negatively charged moving negatively charged particles are the electrons can the negative charge be made to flow yes the negative charge can be made to flow. Can electricity be made to flow like water flowing from higher to lower level? Yes. You have learned that a force will have to be applied to put a stationary object into motion. We get current electricity when the electrons in an electrical conductor are made to flow. Copper wire is a good electrical conductor. So, electrons are made to flow through copper wire. Now, let's see a topic, current electricity. A large current flows when lightning takes place from a cloud to the ground. While sensation is felt by us due to a microscopically small current flowing to the brain. We know that current flowing through wires, electric bulbs and equipments in the house. In the electric cells of a radio or in a car battery. A current is produced by the flow of both 
negatively and positively charged particles. Let's see about electrostatic potential. Water or a liquid flows from a higher level to a lower level. Heat always flows from a body at high temperature to a body at lower temperature. Similarly, there is a tendency of a positive charge to flow from a point of higher electric level to a point of lower electric level. This electric level deciding the direction of flow of electric charges is called electrostatic potential. Let's see what is potential difference. So in this picture you can see a wire and a cell and a bulb. So if you observe here the circuit is incomplete. So, we will study more about this. Potential difference. For this, take connecting copper wires and connect the circuit as shown in the figure 4.1a. No current is seen flow in the bulb. Now, connect in the same circuit a 1.4 volt dry cell available in the market. Now it will be realized from glowing of the bulb that a current is flowing in the circuit. Electrons in the wire flow due to the potential difference between the two ends of a dry cell. These flow from the negative terminal to of the cell to the positive terminal of the cell. Conventional current flows in the opposite direction and is shown in the figure by the sign of an arrow. So here you can observe the arrows. So it shows the flow of current. There is no current as there is no potential difference in the absence of any cell. Current starts flowing in the circuit as soon as the potential difference is applied. The unit of potential difference is SI system. In SI system is volt and is denoted by letter V. How can we measure water flowing emerging from a pipe? Here yeah, we can find it from the amount of water that is in liters coming out in the specific time period. How then is the current electricity measured? We have seen that electric current is produced due to the flow of charged particles. Electrical charge flowing through a wire in one second can be called unit current. The SI unit of electric current is coulomb per second or is also called ampere. One ampere equal to one A equal to 1 coulomb per 1 second equal to 1 C per S. Electric current is a scalar quantity. Now, let us see about the electric cell. So, students, here you can observe the electric cells. A cell is required to produce a uniform flow of charges in a circuit. Such a general device is an electric cell. Various types of electric cells are available today. 
These are used in the range of machines from wrist watches to submarines. Out of this, you must be aware of solar cells. The main function of various electric cells is to maintain a constant potential difference between its two terminals. The electric cells work on the electric charges to maintain a constant potential difference. Let us learn about the electric cells that are currently in use. Now everyone knows the dry cell which we are using in batteries. The dry cells are used in our radio sets, wall clocks and torches. These are easily available in the market. Now let us study about the dry cell. Take a lead dry cell and remove its outer coating. So if you remove the outer coating, you can find inside a whitish metal layer. And that whitish metal layer is nothing but zinc metal. This is a negative terminal of the cell. Now carefully break open this layer. If we open this layer, there is another layer inside and electrolyte is filled between these two layers. The electrolyte contains negatively charged and positively charged ions. These are the carriers of electricity. The electrolyte is a wet pulp of zinc chloride that is ZnCl2 and ammonium chloride that is NH4Cl. There is a graphite rod at the center of the cell. This is positive terminal of the cell. A paste of manganese dioxide that is MnO2 is filled outside the rod. Because of the chemical reactions of all these chemicals, electrical charge is produced on the two terminals. That is graphite rod and zinc layer. And an electric current flows in the circuit. Due to the weight pulp used in this cell, the chemical reaction proceeds very slowly. Hence, a large electric current cannot be obtained from this. Compared to the electric cells using liquids, the self life of dry cells is longer. Dry cells are very convenient to use as these can be held in any direction with respect to ground and can be used in mobile instruments. Now students, let us see next type of cell which is lead acid, lead acid cell. So if you observe the figure, we can see the principle of lead acid cell. This type of cell can be recharged after getting electrically discharged. The lead acid cell contains a lead electrode and a lead oxide electrode. So see in the figure you can observe a red color is shown. It is a lead dioxide and a blue color is shown which is a lead rod. And which is dipped into H2SO4 solution. So, dilute sulfuric acid. Then, lead dioxide carries a positive charge while lead electrode carries a negative charge. The potential difference between these two is nearly 2 hold. So, you can observe 2 hold battery is used because of the chemical reaction between the substances in the cell electrical charge is produced on both the electrodes and electric current flows through the load that is in the circuit. This kind of electric cells have a capacity to deliver large current. Hence 
लीड एक्स एसिड सेल्स आर यूज इन कार्स ट्रक्स मोटरसाइकल्स एंड अन इंटरप्टेड पॉवर सप्लाईज दॅट इज यू पी एस नाव विल सी द नेक्स्ट टाईप ऑफ सेल दॅट इज निकेल कॅडमियम सेल दीज डेज अ व्हरायटी ऑफ गॅजेट्स आर अवेलेबल विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी कॅरीड टू डिफरंट प्लेसेस सच गॅजेट्स यूज्ड निकेल कॅडमियम सेल्स द सेल्स डिलिव्हर्ड वन पॉईंट टू होल्ड पोटॅन्शियल डिफरन्स अँड आर रिचार्जेबल सो टू रिचार्ज दिस अ यू इन्स्ट्रुमेंट इज यूज कॉल अ कॉल्ड अ सेल होल्डर नाव वेन अ सेल होल्डर अँ इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब अँड प्लग की आर कनेक्टेड बाय कनेक्टिंग वायर्स ॲज शोन इन द फिगर अँड अ ड्राय सेल इज फिटेड इन द होल्डर दॅन द बल्ब लाईट्स अप बाय क्लोजिंग द प्लग की This means that a current flows through the circuit and bulb lights up. On the removal of the cell, the electric current flowing through the circuit stops and indicated by the bulb which ceases to glow. This type of connection of electrical con- components is called an electrical circuit. And you can see the cell is shown by the symbol where the plus and minus sign is used so that is nothing but the symbol of cell an electrical circuit is also used in the home supply however the electricity supply is made from outside instead of electric cells now let's see about the connecting cells you must have seen more than one cells connected in the electric electrical circuit in the transistor radio two three dry cells are seen to be connected in series the purpose of doing this is to obtain more potential difference than that of a single cell so if you observe that if we use a more and more cells we will get a more potential difference therefore it is possible to obtain higher current if the cells are connected as shown in the figure the connection of cells is known as a battery of cells in this series connection the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the second cell and the positive terminal of the second cell is connected to the negative terminal of the third cell therefore if each cell has a potential difference of 1 volt the total potential difference of three cells will be 3 volt lithium ion cells are used in modern equipments for example smartphone laptop these cells can be rechargeable more electrical energy can be stored in these cells as compared to the nickel cadmium cells now students observe the activity here it is given that take the inside tray of an used up match box place a small ma- magnetic needle inside the tray now take a long connecting wire and wind it around the tray complete the electrical cir- electric circuit by connecting in it this wire electric cell plug and a bulb mark the position of the magnetic needle take a bar magnet near to the magnetic needle see observe it what do you observe keep looking at the needle close the bulb plug key the bulb will light up and you will realize that the current has started flowing does the magnetic needle change its position yes magnetic needle changes its 
position. Now open the plug key. Does the magnetic needle come back to the original position? Yes. What will you conclude from this experiment? So, magnetic needle is indeed a magnet. You have seen that the magnetic needle changes its direction when a bar magnet is taken near the magnetic needle. Also, you have observed that the magnetic needle changes its direction when a current starts flowing in the circuit. This means that magnetic field is created when an electric current flows in the wire. We can say that when an electric current passes through a wire, magnetic field is produced around that wire. Let us see second activity. In this, take a long flexible copper wire having resistive coating and wind tightly on a long iron screw. Connect the two ends of the wire in the circuit as shown in the figure. Also, connect an electric cell and a plug key in the circuit. Keep two to four iron pins near the screw. Now, start the current in the circuit by plugging the key. It will be noticed that the pins or nails have stuck to the tip of the screw. Will the pins or nails continue to stick when the plug key is open? So you have to observe it and find out the answer. When the electric current flows in the wire, magnetism is produced in the coil around the screw and because of that, the screw also attains magnetism. As soon as the current is stopped, this magnetism vanishes. The system of coil and the screw is called an electromagnet. You have seen various uses of electromagnet in the 6th standard. Electromagnets are used to produce strong magnetic field. Now, let's see a next topic, electric bell. So, many of you must have seen simple electric door, doorbell. Open such a bell which is out of order. So, if you open it, you can see the structure like this inside. There is an electromagnet inside. Just now we have seen about electromagnet and now that electromagnet is working here. Let us understand the working of the bell. A copper wire is wound around an iron piece. This coil acts as an electromagnet. So observe a iron piece that is a nail and now observe the electromagnet. An iron strip along with the striker is fitted near to the electromagnet. So observe the striker. A connect screw is in touch with the strip. So you can see a strip is there. The electric circuit is connected as shown in the figure. So in this figure also you can observe. The current flows in the circuit when screw is in contact with the strip and hence the coil becomes a magnet. Coil becomes a 
magnet and attracts the iron strip towards it. Therefore, the striker hits the gong and the sound is created. However, at the same time, the contact screw loses the contact with the strip and the current is current in the circuit stops. In this situation, the electromagnet loses its magnetism and iron strip moves back and comes in contact with the contact screw. The electric current is then immediately restored and again the striker hits the gong by the above process. This action repeats itself and the bell rings. This is the working of electric bell. So students study it properly. Thank you.